guess what I found? We have a log in the yard that I haven't seen in a while. And I got back here and there are oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms grow on um, dead or dying logs. They usually grow in this shelf-like position in clusters. Um, they could be tan, a little gray, with a little purplish lavender tint to them. Now the gills underneath are all going to be all connected all the way down to the stem here. And the stem is not very large either. So I'm gonna saw it off. Oh, what a beauty. This is going to be an amazing saute. There is at least a pound, two pounds of mushrooms here. And it's getting to be a little dark, so I'm surprised I even saw them. This is such a treat. I'm gonna leave some here, the smaller ones, that way I can come back in a couple days and uh, pick some more. But I'm gonna get the big ones here. That way they don't get tough. And it is end of October. So, we're supposed to get a frost in the next day or so. So, I don't know how much longer these will be around. Oh my goodness, they're so delicious. What do you say? We have some mushrooms here. Yeah. All right. So this is my bountiful harvest of oyster mushrooms today. This is at least three, four pounds of mushrooms. This is incredible. This one's at least like six inches across. And they are all so beautiful. And there's no bugs on any of them almost. I looked at them pretty, pretty well. So beautiful. I'm gonna saute these. I got some A1, A1 ghee from the HOA conference. Someone turned me on to it and it is the most amazing, amazing flavor. Or maybe I'll just use butter because that flavor is very potent, very powerful, very tasty. However, maybe I want to taste the flavor of the oyster mushrooms. Oh boy. Look at them, they're all so pretty. Now with the oyster mushrooms, you wanna make sure um, when you're trying to figure out which ones are edible or not, you wanna make sure that these are growing on dead or dying trees and they're usually positioned in um, like a shelf-like structure, one over another. Sometimes they're in a rosette formation all around each other. Um, and then the gills are the same 
They go all the way down to the stem and there's not much of a stem. And it could be a little on the gray, pale, tan color spectrum with a little purplish uh, undertint to them sometimes. So you don't want to mix them with um, oil because the oil will just make the water come out. What you want to do is steam them a little bit um, in their own, just put coat the pan with a teaspoon of oil and then put some soy sauce, um, red wine, a little bit of salt and pepper and the flavor will come out. Slice them pretty thin into little tiny strips. They rip very easily along, this, along the, um, the gills and then it can be like your meat substitute. All right, guys, I'm gonna have fun with this tonight. This was an unexpected gift.